story time, boys. Gather round. I bought a broken distortion pedal and I went on a journey to repair it. So eBay told me it's a Boss DS1, spares repairs, no sound when engaged, lights up, bypass works, but no sound when it's turned on. And I thought, I'll have a crack at this. That doesn't sound that hard to fix. I've been building all these pedals. You can see on GavD, Co UK. I've been building all sorts of pedals and making all sorts of music with them. It's been great fun. And the DS1 is legendary for acid and techno. And, you know, I like techno. I like acid. Sounds good. So the pedal arrived and I eagerly dismantled it and I was faced with some really clear issues. Uh, so there's a blown cap. So there's a cap. It's got a little like orange mohawk on it from where it's blown out. And there's a blown diode. Uh, it was clear that D1 was completely blown and C23 was completely blown too. So I checked the serial number on the board and it seems like it's an early 2000s uh, DS1. There's been three main iterations of this pedal. It's been around since the 70s, I think. So this is quite a, a classic effect at this time. Uh, I found a schematic online drawn by a guy called Philip Bryant, and it was clear that both of the things that had blown were in the power circuit. So I spoke to my mate John, uh, Flux of K Plus on YouTube, really good musician, look him up. He suggested that someone had plugged in the wrong power supply, and that totally makes sense because all the components that had blown were in the power loop, in the power circuit. So I desoldered the diode, that was fully broken in two actually, and I pulled out the cap and uh, yeah, I ran that through my ESR meter, absolutely nothing, um, cap's totally balked. And happily in my parts bin I had some replacements, so I soldered those in and it still didn't work. Oh no, because I thought, I thought that was going to be really easy, I was so excited. Back on the test bed. I could see there was something that looked like capacitor leakage around C15, which is pretty close to the power circuit. So I pulled out that cap, I pulled out the surrounding resistors. They all read fine, uh, but I replaced them anyway. The resistors looked a bit grubby. I cleaned the P PCB with isopropyl alcohol, IPA. It looked a lot better. Still didn't work though. So I did some voltage tracing, which I've never really done before. I put a probe on ground. I was measuring voltages at certain points corresponding to the schematic. Voltages seemed okay. So then I built a simple audio probe and I traced the signal point by point through the circuit and I got about as far as the op amp. Well, I got exactly as far as the op amp and suddenly all the audio output dropped out. I think if I drove it super hard, I could maybe hear like, you know, 1% as loud a signal, but uh, it was pretty much gone. Um, at this point, I realized the op amp must be blown. And I grubbed around the internet, I found a few articles and threads, they suggested that's actually a common issue when people try to feed the DS1 the wrong power, that you can not only blow the power circuit, but it trips and blows up the op amp as well, so yeah, <laughs> that sucked. So then I had to play a waiting game, because I ordered some replacement op amps at mauser.co.uk. Co UK, ah, oh, British supplier, no, it's shipping from Texas. Um, so no wonder they wanted 12 quid for FedEx delivery, I did think that was a bit steep. Um, anyway, it arrived, and I put a socket on the pedal instead of just dropping the chip in and soldering the chip in, so I can swap it out if necessary, because there's a number of op-amp mods for this pedal, but it worked. Nice. And I put it all back together, and I was super stoked. I'm going to be doing some videos on this, playing it with some, you know, techno music and doing a comparison of the built-in distortion on the TD3 and uh, the Behringer knockoff pedals that are supposed to emulate the DS1. But yeah, I'm super, super pleased I did this. I've got about half a dozen other broken effects I've bought for eBay. I've got to stop buying them, actually, otherwise I'm uh, going to run out of money very, very quickly. But um, yeah, it, it, it's really good fun repairing these things uh, when you actually crack it.